So you recall in our last video with the BA gear road trip, at the end of it I did mention working on an XB ute for a single episode, it belongs to a mate of mine. Now he just wants me to go over this car for registration purposes, it's going to be a roughie but it needs to be a goodie. So we're going to check out things like rust, uh, we're going to take care of any kind of major structural rust, we'll pretty it up a little bit as we go along. But we really need to make sure that the car itself is roadworthy and safe for him and his family to drive around. So let's go and check out this ute, shall we? So as we do a bit of a walk around, you can see as mentioned, it is a tad rough. We've got a lot of paint fade on the roof and on the bonnet. We've got some tape that's stuck to the fenders there, which will be a nightmare to remove. The back tray itself is fairly well beaten up yet it's still relatively solid. The removable tray here is rusty, but that's non-structural, so we're gonna let it go. We've got a nice GT style grill to fit, but again, it's had some repairs. It's literally gonna get a slap up paint job in black. As we move across the back, you can see the tile gate doesn't match at all. So we're gonna throw a lick of color on there. Again, we're not gonna do much in terms of body prep, so we are gonna paint on top of the surface rust and that will allow the surface rust to come back again and maintain the patina paint job. So overall, it is pretty straight and reasonably tidy for the roughy that it's gonna be, but there's certainly some areas that are gonna need attention. It's just some minor things like this. A little bit of cosmetics like so. I've noticed that there's several wheel nuts missing got things like hoses dragging on the ground almost. When we move on to the interior, you can see it's got a pretty dodgy steering wheel. That's got to go. The column's the incorrect one. It's out of an XC. So the ignition is now currently hanging down. The seats are not bolted in. It is an X bench seat car. We'll need to put that bracing in there fit our door trims, etc. We have also got some structural rust on the driver's side floor pan that needs to be repaired. And we've also got a little bit along the driver's side sill that needs some attention. So moving on to the engine bay, you can see the bonnet's not bolted in place, it's missing its hinges. We've got to sort that out. It's also missing its compliance plates, we'll register it without. The next six cylinder car, it's now got a 351 V8. You can see it's got some new items like the battery, and the brakes which have been taken care of, but we'll give everything another once over. We also need to pay some attention to this radiator which is not sitting in properly, it's wobbling around. So we'll look into that too. And as part of our inspection, we'll look at getting these front fenders off. Because we will need to have a look in behind here in the plenum and pillar area. If there is any rust, my mate's going to need to know about it and then he can decide what he wants to do, pending what we find. So let's hook in with that. a look. So far it doesn't look too bad. So we'll probably look at repairing that. Up top it's kind of similar. Not the best, but it seems not too bad. We'll see what the passenger side's got. The 
passenger side is actually looking quite good. Very good indeed. And after getting the blessing from our mate to have a bit more of a dig, we can see structurally that he's pretty rough. And moving to the passenger side, it's even worse. So we're gonna pop these doors off and pop these braces off on both sides. We need to make sure that this car is structurally sound as it will be a family vehicle. And now as we take a closer look, it looks like it was just as well that we decided to dig a bit deeper. Because unfortunately, both sides of these A-pillars are very structurally compromised, so got to sort them out. Now we can see the true extent of the damage on both sides. They both look pretty rough.
and that's one side down. You beauty. need to make a phone call to old mate find out what he wants to do fucking hell chat to my mate we've got a bit of good news he is happy to go ahead even though the platinum is a little bit more work than expected so we're going to do a bit of a rough job so to speak on this one we're not making it concourse correct we are making it fairly close but basically underneath this platinum we're not going to remove the dashboard we're not going to remove the entire cover let's show you how we're going to tackle it just to make sure that it's structurally sound so you can see quite a bit of rust in there we're going to do small patches like so. We're going to cut this section of the top plenum off. We're going to remove this panel as well. So basically by cutting all the way along here and removing the plenum, we've got a large chunk of access available now and we're going to do probably three or four pieces. And of course we need to fabricate a new one of these so we can spot weld them from above. We'll run some seam sealer around it and some high zinc primer and that'll take care of it. extent of that damage.
seam sealer to finish off. first choice in how to repair this but it was certainly cost effective and time effective happy bloody days Here it is, at long last. It's been a hard slog. Finally got this section completely done and dusted. She's now nice and solid. Happy bloody days. All right guys, that's gonna have to wrap up this episode. We were hopeful that we we're going to have it all wrapped up in one. As you saw, every time we got to somewhere, we thought this was fine and it got worse and worse and worse in a steady decline. Look, this is just standard fare for old vehicles, unfortunately, and we all get stung. As it turns out, old Matt and I got stung. So look, join us for the next video. It's going to be a two part thing. We pretty much know everything that we're dealing with from here on out. We know that it's just the outer sills and the floor pans for rust repairs, and that's going to be it. The rest is sorting out this car and making sure it's all tip top and sound and ready for registration. So make sure you join us then. Catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Do. Fuck off, will ya? Noisy cunt. Why are you not fucking on, you cunt? Another fucking missing world. Oh, you suck at crap, Pen. Garbage review. Whoops. Fucking helps if you can actually earth, dumbass.